Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I wanted to do a quick tour on my Pro, it's a Pro Vault 24 gun safe that sold at Cabela's. I've had it for almost three years and it's been very, very good to me. Let's get into it. I've only had to change the batteries out one time since I've owned her. That's how she looks from afar. Let's get up close. So, go through a little safe tour of our gun collection. This is our six hour P226 Legion. This is the double action, single action. Beast of a pistol. This thing has been amazing ever since I've owned it. We have a Surefire. It's a X300. Let's see. X300 Ultra. This thing is sweet. I also have the Give me a second. I have the little six hour holster that goes along with it. This thing's pretty sweet too. Made by Black Point Tactical and just Legion branded. Pretty sweet. Worth 130 bucks, I don't know, but it hasn't failed me yet. I've had to tighten these screws up just a little bit every now and then, maybe like once a year. But yeah, she's been good to me. So that's our home defense pistol. Rock Island Armory, GI 1911, old baby. This thing has rust all over it and she still shoots like a dream. I love this pistol, I don't care what no one says. So, A-Rail Mag, good old 45, America's caliber, pistol caliber. This thing's sweet. Actually, I haven't had any malfunctions with this baby either. Check her out. Just a doll, look at her. This was passed down by my wife's grandpa to, to me specifically, not my children, but to me. And it, it, means, it means more to me than a lot of my pistols, honestly. So yeah, Rock Island Armory. I probably, I probably have maybe like 200 rounds to it. Not, my, not many rounds at all. I don't really, I don't train too often with this guy. This is just something that I go and take out every now and then. And if you're curious to know, I'm, I'm, I hang all of my pistols by it's a, let me zoom in, but it's a, it's like a little S hook. So it hooks onto the top of this and there's a piece that goes into the barrel that's coated with the rubber. Let me zoom in. It's pretty sweet. That's what the safe looks on the inside of it. The HK USP 40 chambered around, or I'm sorry, chambered to be built for the 40 caliber. Okay, look at that, just a beast of a pistol. I love this thing so much. Let's see if you can see this guy a little bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. This pistol is just something else. Just the, the feeling that you get from, from holding, I mean, it's a very, special feeling you get from owning one of these. It has the magazine release on, for it's meant for the finger trigger, if I, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is the beautiful 40 caliber, okay. The beautiful antlers that HK puts for the specified dates. This pistol is just amazing. And this is also, you can either carry it just like a 1911, cocked and locked, or just straight up double action, that's how I carry it. This pistol, I actually have had some malfunctions with this pistol, and this pistol is old, so I think it's going on 10 years old. The only malfunction that I've had with it was, I believe it was magazine related, so, and it wasn't with me, it was with my, uh, my father-in-law. The Magazine was failing to feed the rounds into the chamber. Not no failure to feed from like the, the feed ramp or anything, but it was from the magazine. Okay. I bought this actually during the peak of COVID, so I think I overpaid for it. I think I paid like 850 if I remember right. 
but no regrets. No regrets at all. This lovely little thing is my wife's carry. She carries the P2000SK. This is the Allium, Allium Trader model. So I've actually always wanted one of these. I've always, always had my eye on them just because of how tankish they look. And they actually are tankish in, in, in person. So if you want one of these, definitely go for it. I'll show you guys the trigger. This trigger is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, we're clear. So you have take up, very, very, very gentle take up. It doesn't take any, any sort of um, amount of pressure at all, okay? So you pull, you get a wall, okay? Now I got the, where it's gonna break, boom. Okay, now let's go show you the reset real quick. Let me get on the other side, okay? So you have, let me see if the camera's in, okay? Long reset too, it's weird. Very, very interesting trigger, okay? Let's go for it again, ready? Very interesting, this pistol, is it, it shoots like a dream despite it having the LEM trigger. I know it's meant for law enforcement, but I mean, it, I, this trigger is awesome. It's really cool and the way that it shoots is just, it's super natural. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, this is my wife's carry, HK P2000 SK. Now, my carry pistol. Now, if you're wondering about the color on it, my wife hydro dipped it. I'll see if I can add a video in. <laughs> oh, look at it! But she hydro dipped it. It looked really cool, and it decided to wear off. So I decided just to strip it. So this is the Glock 45, nine millimeter. So we get a close up of it. This is my carry pistol, the Glock 45 9mm. I have no failures at all from this pistol, and that's why I carry it every day. So I bought it back in 2019, I think it was. And since I've owned it, I've probably put a good maybe like 1500 rounds through it. Not, not nothing too crazy, but enough to trust it with my life and my family's. But I'm not good at shooting far distance unless I absolutely take my time with it. But this thing has, has just been awesome. There's a very, very distinct grip. So as you guys probably know, cause you guys are probably gun people if you're watching this, 17 grip with a 19 slide. But there's just something about it. Coleon Noir uh, describes it the best. It just feels good. I don't know how to explain it. Just the, the way that it, it recoils in your hand is, I mean, I don't know. It's just really, really hard to explain. The one upgrade I've done to this is I've changed the, I think it's the, ex, the extension, the extension arm or uh, trigger extension, some shit. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it was it pretty much smoothed the trigger out not that it needed it but i had the part and, it, and I, did, I put it on so this thing is just the, the trigger on it is super super nice double check with it real clear yeah this thing it's just it's sweet i love this pistol yeah this is my baby right here if you guys are wondering about the motion motion sensor lights so there's a channel called Twang and Bang that will give you a tutorial on how to install motion sensor lights for, I think it's like 20 or 25 bucks. And that thing, or I'm sorry, the video has been 
pretty much a game changer for this safe. I bought it and I think like a week or two later, I ended up putting the lights in because this, this safe does not come with lights. But I didn't want to spend the extra money to get the, the light kit or whatever. The, I think it's like a hundred and something bucks. Just go watch that video, install it yourself, and yeah, you'll be happy. So let's get into the rifles now. This is the Remington 760 Game Master. This rifle is super duper special to me. Fun fact, this was the rifle that took out Martin Luther King Jr. Not this same exact rifle, but the same model. Chambered in 30-06. I have yet to shoot it. I do have some rounds for it, and I do have the intentions on going and taking out some elk with it. But yeah, this thing is super awesome. Pump action 30-06. I never, I never knew they made it like that. But yeah, this thing's super cool. Super, super cool. Yeah, I'll make a video when I do decide to take this baby out. But look at, just look how pretty it is. Just absolutely beautiful. Okay. Pump action, 410 shotgun. This thing is sweet. New England firearms. This thing, if I remember right, I think it was built back in like the 1960s. But yeah, this thing is awesome. I think they're called... Break, break action, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, this is a 410 shotgun. This thing's pretty cool. It has a single beat sight, if you guys can see. Yeah, this thing, my uh, my kids shoot it. This thing's pretty awesome. Also handed down to us, very special. Now this thing is the money right here. That's the ultimate survival weapon right here. Single action 22. I think it's a 20 inch barrel. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. It's a Remington, I know there's a name for it. Remington Target Master. I believe this rifle, when I looked it up, it was built in the 1930s. This thing's freaking sweet. My seven year old, he has an awesome shot with it. Next up is the four year old to start shooting it. But yeah, this is a bold action 22. It's simply Simply amazing rifle. I love this thing. This thing's super fun to shoot. And it costs literally nothing to go shoot it. But yeah, this thing is fucking awesome. I love it. Okay, next one. This thing is a must. Bug assault. This is the fly annihilator. This is kept in the safe because I don't want the kids to fuck their eyes up. Okay, fill it up with salt at the top and it shoots salt at probably like a good, like 30 feet a second. This thing's freaking awesome. Okay, maybe not, maybe like 10 feet a second, whatever. But yeah, this thing's a must. If you guys don't have one, get you one so you can tear up the flies. All right guys, this is the bread and butter of my collection right here. This is my Daniel Defense DD M4 V11. My AR that I've had for a very, very long while. So guys, I have the EOTech. Um, it's the EXPS2, I think. Not the night vision capable, but it's enough for what I need. Also with the magnifier, this thing is just amazing. This thing has my heart. You guys can see the Holographic red dot. Okay. Take the mag out. I also have the Geisley supercharging handle. I have a video. Um, I'll link it in the in the end cards. But yeah, this thing is my my baby right here. I also have it fitted with Magpul flip up sights. You guys can see. Magpul flip ups. Okay. With a Surefire M600 dual fuel. This thing is super, super bright. It's the, it's not the turbo version, but it's good enough for what I need. Um, I went and took it out to the mountains and you could see probably out to a good like 150 yards. Not not with just a red dot, but if you throw the magnifier on, you can see pretty detailed. So yeah, how bright it is. It's 
pretty bright. Let me shut this light off. Gonna fuck off that teddy bear. See, blind it out. But yeah, that's my collection. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any of the guns that, that I own? What's your favorite in your collection? And I will hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.